Saint Cajetan, priest, founder of the Theatines, August 7th. His father, a military man, died defending the city against an enemy army. The child was left an orphan, in the care of his saintly mother who took great care to form him very well. He studied at the University of Padua, where he obtained two doctorates, and there he stood out of his venerable presence and his exquisite kindness that won him many friendships. He then went to Rome, and in that capital city, he became private secretary to Pope Julius II and notary of the Holy See. At the age of 33, he was ordained a priest. The respect he had for the Holy Mass was so great that three months passed between his ordination to the priesthood and his first Mass, time that he dedicated to prepare himself as well as possible for the Holy Celebration. In Rome, he joined an association called the L'Amor Divino, whose members strove to lead the most fervent life possible and to dedicate themselves to helping the poor and the sick. Seeing that the state of relaxation of the Catholics was extremely great and scandalous, he proposed to found a community of priests who would dedicate themselves to lead the holiest possible life and to fervorize the faithful. And so he founded the Theatine Fathers, named after Theati, the city of which the superior of the community, Monsignor Carafa, who later became Pope Paul IV, was bishop. St. Cayetan wrote to his friend, I feel healthy in body, but sick in soul, seeing how Christ awaits the conversion of all, and so few move to convert. And this was the greatest desire of his life, that people would begin to lead life more than the court with the Holy Gospel. And wherever he went, he worked to achieve this. At the time, Luther's revolution broke out, which founded the evangelicals and declared war against the Church of Rome. Many wanted to follow his example, attacking and criticizing the heads of the Holy Catholic Church. But St. Cayetan told them, the first thing to do to reform the Church is to reform oneself. St. Cayetan was from a very rich family, and he got rid of all his possessions and distributed them among the poor. In a letter, he wrote his reasons for doing so. I see my Christ poor, and will I dare to continue, live as a rich man? I see my Christ humiliated and despised. And will I continue to desire to be honored? Oh, how I feel like weeping to see that people have no desire to imitate the crucified Redeemer. In Naples, a rich man wants to give him some land so that he can live off the rent, together with his companions, telling him that the people there are not as generous as in other cities. The saint refuses the offer and tells him, God is the same here and everywhere, and he has never forsaken us, not even for a minute. He founded associations called Montes de Piedad, which were dedicated to lending money to very poor people at very low interest rates. He felt an immense love for our God, and he adored him especially in the sacred host, in the Eucharist, and remembering the holy infancy of Jesus. His favorite image was that of the divine infant Jesus. People call him the little father who is very wise, but at the same time very holy. In his free time, wherever he was, he dedicated his time attending the sick in the hospitals, especially the most abandoned and the most repugnant. One day in his religious house, there was nothing to eat because everyone had distributed their goods among the poor. St. Cayetan went to the altar and tapping on the door of the tabernacle where the holy hosts were, he said with all confidence, Jesus beloved, I remind you that today we have nothing to eat. A short time later, some mules arrived bringing a good quantity of provisions, and the muleteers did not want to say where they were sending them from. In his last illness, the doctor advised him to lie down on a wool mattress, and the saint exclaimed, My Savior died on a rough cross. Please allow me, a poor sinner, to die on a few boards. And so he died on August 7, 1547 in Naples, at the age of 67, worn out from working so hard for the sanctification of souls. Soon miracles begin to obtain through his intercession and the Supreme Pontiff declared him a saint in 1671. Prayer to Saint Cayetan. Glorious Saint Cayetan, acclaimed by all people to be the father of providence because you provide miracles aid to all who come to you in need. I stand here before you today humbly asking 
that you present to the Lord the request that I confidently deposit in your hands. May these graces that I know request help me to always seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that God who dresses with beauty the flowers of the field and abundantly feeds the birds of the sky will grant me all other things. Amen. Saint Cayetan, pray for us.